We are in lesson 170, which is a spelling dictation exercise. In this exercise, we're going to be working with sentences with real words. And the words we focus upon will all contain at least one consonant team. These are the consonant teams we're going to be using in the words I'm about to dictate. CH, CH, CHURCH. TCH, CH, match. CH and TCH both represent the same sound. TCH must have a short vowel directly in front of it in order to use it. CK, K, rock. CK must have a short vowel directly in front of it in order to use the CK team. NG, on, as in wing. NG also must have a short vowel directly in front of it in order to use NG as a consonant team. PH represents the same sound that you hear in the letter F, as in phone. QU, in English, when we have the sounds K and W, we use QU to represent those two sounds. QU represents the sounds KW, QUA, as in quit. When U follows the Q, U is part of the consonant team QU and is not considered as a vowel. SH represents the sound SH as in shell. TH can represent one of two sounds. When it represents its first sound, underline it once. When it represents its second sound, double underline it. The first sound for TH is TH as in thumb. The second sound for TH is TH, as in THE. The first sound of TH is called the voiceless sound because we do not vibrate our vocal cords to make that sound. The second sound for TH is called the voiced sound for TH because in order to make the sound, you vibrate your vocal cords as you're making the sound TH. Finally, WH represents the sound wa, as in the word wheel. Some people pronounce wh with a slight h sound in front, hua, but most people now only use the w sound when they are pronouncing a word with the wh team. So for our purposes, when we see wh, I will assume that it's representing the sound wa. These are the consonant teams. Memorize these teams so that when you encounter them in a word, you immediately recognize them. We underline all consonant teams when we are spelling words for dictation. There are a total of 10 sentences in Lesson 170, beginning with sentence 1. I will pick the lock and hitch the thick pack to the dash. I will pick the lock and hitch the thick pack to the dash. I will pick, pick, p, i, k, pick, the lock, lock, l, a, k, lock, and hitch, hitch, h, i, Hitch the thick, thick, th, i, k, thick, pack, pack, p, a, k, pack, to the dash, dash, d, a, sh, dash. I will pick the lock and hitch the thick pack to the dash. Notice that we underline consonant teams in our marking system. And also notice that TH in the word thick is representing its first sound. If it were to represent its second sound, we would double underline it, but in this instance, it represents the voiceless sound for TH, 
where the vocal cords are not vibrating, so we put one line under TH. And I will note a word about these sentences. Many of these sentences, even though we use real words, seem nonsensical in terms of their meaning. You have to remember the purpose of this spelling exercise is to present you with real words that contain one consonant team or possibly two. And yet we don't want to introduce any words that contain other elements that we haven't yet formally introduced in the program. So the number of words that I can use for these sentences is somewhat limited. And in order to work in as many different words as possible, it sometimes causes these sentences to not really make much sense at all. And that's fine. That's not the purpose of these sentences. It's really simply to give you the opportunity to read and spell sentences with a preponderance of words where you have uh, consonant teams within those words. So uh, understand these sentences within that context. Sentence two. Go hack a notch in the shed, but do not mock the king. Go hack a notch in the shed, but do not mock the king. Go hack, hack, h, a, k, hack, a notch, notch, n, a, ch, notch, in the shed, shed, sh, e, d, shed, but do not mock, mock, m, a, k, mock, the king, king, k, i, Mm, king. Go hack a notch in the shed, but do not mock the king. Sentence three. Catch the sick chap and quell his shell shock. Catch the sick chap and quell his shell shock. Catch, catch, k, a, ch, catch, the sick, sick, s, i, k, sick, chap, chap, ch, a, p, chap, and quell, quell, qua, e, ol, quell, his shell, shell, sh, e, ol, shell, shock, shock, sh, a, k, shock. Catch the sick chap and quell his shell shock. Sentence four. Chug the thick rock and chip the ditch with a whack. Chug the thick rock and chip the ditch with a whack. Chug, chug, ch. A, uh, g, chug. The thick, thick, th. I, k, thick. Rock, rock, r, a, uh, k, rock. And chip, chip, ch, i, p, chip. The ditch, ditch, d, i, ch, ditch. 
with a whack. Whack. Wa. A. K. Whack. Chug the thick rock and chip the ditch with a whack. Sentence five. The buck made a thud in a rush to shed the chill. The buck made a thud in a rush to shed the chill. The buck, buck, b, a, k, buck, made a thud, thud, a, uh, d, thud, in a rush, rush, r, a, uh, sh, rush, to shed, shed, sh, e, uh, d, shed, the chill, chill, ch, i, o. Chill. The buck made a thud in a rush to shed the chill. Sentence six. The pack had a whiff of the fish and with a shock sang. The pack had a whiff of the fish and with a shock sang the pack pack p a k pack had a whiff whiff wa i f whiff of the fish fish f i sh fish and with a shock, shock, sh, ah, k, shock, sang, sang, s, a, ah, mm, sang. The pack had a whiff of the fish and with a shock sang. Sentence seven. Hitch the ship to the latch by the ditch with ducks. Hitch the ship to the latch by the ditch with ducks. Hitch, hitch, h, i, ch, hitch the ship, ship, sh, i, Ship to the latch, latch, all, a, ch, latch, by the ditch, ditch, d, i, ch, ditch, with ducks, ducks, d, a, k, s, ducks. Hitch the ship to the latch by the ditch with ducks. Notice in this sentence we have three words that end with TCH. TCH represents the same sound as does the team CH, so the T is always silent. We use TCH only when a short vowel comes directly in front of it. Now there are some very common words where we have a short vowel followed by the sound ch, where we use ch instead of tch. Such and much are two words where the ch is used instead of tch at the end of those words. But by and far, most words in English where you have a short vowel followed by the sound ch will be spelled using the tch team. Sentence eight. If you sing that mush, I will mock and shun the song. If you sing that mush, 
I will mock and shun the song. If you sing, sing, s, i, ung, sing, that mush, mush, m, a, sh, mush, I will mock, mock, m, a, k, mock, and shun, shun, sh, uh, n, shun, the song, song, s, ah, uh, n, song. If you sing that mush, I will mock and shun the song. Sentence nine. The chum did itch and then did rock with shock. The chum did itch and then did rock with shock. The chum, chum, ch, a, uh, m, mm, chum, did itch, itch, i, ch, itch. And then did rock, rock, r, a, k, rock, with shock, shock, sh, a, k, shock. The chum did itch and then did rock with shock. And sentence 10. Shop at the shack and then rush back to the dock. Shop at the shack and then rush back to the dock. Shop, shop, shh. Ah, p, shop, at the shack, shack, sh, a, k, shack, and then rush, rush, r, a, uh, sh, rush, back, back, b, a, k, back, to the dock. Dock, d, a, k, dock. Shop at the shack and then rush back to the dock. This completes the dictation of sentences in lesson 170.